Hey, hey, what's going on? Early September, Bitcoin over $50,000. Late September, Bitcoin under $40,000. What is going on? Let's uh, talk about that. And uh, welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. As you see over here in uh, early September, after a bit of a drop in Bitcoin and Ethereum, I did mention that although there is a bit of a bounce going on into mid-September, there was still another significant drop quite likely into the end of the two-month cycle in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Today we'll focus on uh, Bitcoin mostly. And as you see, that is exactly what happened. The previous video came out on the 10th of September over here, when Bitcoin was uh, kind of uncertain about bouncing off the 50-day moving average. This bounce was quite weak and we see drop down significantly below that 50-day moving average all the way down to the 50% Fibonacci retracement all the way down to the previous cycle high somewhere around $41,000. And as the members at myfinanceteacher.org know, we had our limit buy order triggered at around $42,600. Additionally, as I see Bitcoin is um, creating a bit of a green candle right now, perhaps the risks of catching a falling knife are reduced. So after posting this video, I'm going to increase my allocation to uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Talking about uh, Bitcoin cycles, usually if you zoom out, historically these Bitcoin cycles on average last for around a couple of months. And uh, yesterday's low, it, if it is the low for the cycle, would give you a cycle lasting for around 63 days. It's very close to the usual average duration, so it means that the likelihood is pretty high that yesterday was the low. Although, of course, sometimes these cycles can stretch to, let's say, lasting for three months instead, giving us another true cycle low somewhere later before a bit of a bounce into the rallying stage of a new cycle. But again, as I mentioned, 50% retracement is a common retracement level. We see a bit of a green candle over here. The risks of catching a falling knife are reduced. If you are a bit of a short-term trader, you might enter with a bit of a stop loss just below the recent lows. And for my longer-term allocation, I'm just going to increase my position size, waiting for significantly higher Bitcoin prices over the longer term. Next, let's have a look at Bitcoin Optimism Index. Uh, which usually gives you a bit of an indication, of course, together with uh, cycle durations, that the markets are um, overly pessimistic. That's when this Bitcoin Optimism Index is close to this uh, bottom green line, somewhere around the level of 20. I mark these uh, Bitcoin cycle lows over here with these uh, red circles. And of course, right now, the Optimism Index is uh, really, really deep into a pessimistic mood on the market. The Optimism Index is just over 10, whereas uh, usually an attractive buying opportunity comes when this Optimism Index is uh, somewhere around 20. So it is um, quite interesting right now to uh, try to get back into uh, crypto markets. Before we continue, let me remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and click that bell notification. Thanks a lot. And lastly, for this quick video, let's have a look at Crypto Fear and Greed Index, which is um, something similar to uh, the CNN Fear and Greed Index of the general stock market. Again, last time when we looked at this index in the first half of September, the index was uh, somewhere around 30. I mentioned that I would like this index to decrease a little bit lower, perhaps towards the level of 20, to see a more attractive, more certain buying opportunity. Since then, the index uh, jumped up a little bit, a bit of a head and shoulders, perhaps. And just as I was expecting, Bitcoin did drop with the markets going a little bit further into a fear. That's where I am getting a little bit more interested in uh, getting uh, larger positions over here. And of course, as I mentioned, nobody knows the future, but with a bit of a bounce over the last several hours, you have a few choices of uh, managing your risks. And if you have uh, more questions on that, you're always welcome to uh, join us at myfinanceteacher.org. Just click this register button. The first month is only $5 and it's $10 per month after that. Have a pleasant day and good luck in your trades.